Hello, my name is Sandra, and I'm an MWR personal trainer, yoga instructor, and health coach. And I'd like to show you a few post-run stretches that can help to reset your hips and help to decrease the stiffness in your hamstrings. So what I would recommend is that these stretches, you hold each of them for anywhere between 15 and 30 seconds. So the first stretches are forward folds. I'll turn my uh, position here to the side. The first one is just a standard forward fold. So you'll take your feet, they'll be about hip distance apart. The point here for those of us that are runners is we often suffer from incredible hamstrings, particularly after a run. So as you go and move into your forward fold, be completely free to bend the knees as much as you need to, to actually bring the hands down to the floor. So we'll take a moment, we start bending the knees, walking the hands from the thighs down the shins, bending the knees so we can come to a point where we can tent the fingers on the floor or maybe press the hands down on the floor and simply let the upper body dangle. Adding a little bit of movement so that the hamstrings don't stay cranky, lowering into the knees as little or as much as you need to. All the while, breathing deep and even. And then to come out of the forward fold, soften the knees, never lock out your knees in a forward fold and in a stretch, but soften your knees, rise it up. And now we'll move on an asymmetrical stretch called pyramid. So. I've got my left foot forward, so the left foot is forward, right foot back, hinging from the hips, aiming to keep the hips tracking forward, and both front and rear foot grounded into the floor. Slowly descend down, gently walking your hands towards the ground. And if it's available, we can bring the hands down, look up and lengthen. And then exhale, fold forward, softening into the stretch, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the facial muscles. Take one more full breath here. And then to switch sides, we'll simply place weight into that front leg, bring the back leg forward. Take a moment, look up and lengthen on an inhale. Exhale, fold it down. And then inhale, look up, lengthen the spine, step the other foot back, moving into pyramid on the second side. Letting shoulders and upper body be soft and supple. Breathing fully, deeply, and evenly. Taking one more full breath here. And just like we did on the other side, to come out of the stretch, start loading into the front leg, bring the back leg forward, look up and lengthen with a flat back, exhale, fold. And then subtle bend in the knees, slowly rising, no rush. One vertebra at a time. Head is the last to rise. And the last stretch that we'll do standing is a squat. So we'll bring the feet out and the toes are going to actually be pointing out as opposed to straight forward. And then we'll take ourselves down to a point that feels appropriate for our body. Maybe we rest the forearms on the thighs. If it's available to you and you can bring the elbows to the inside of the knees, cool. 
If you can bring the hands to the chest, that's fine. Hands down too is great. And we'll add a little bit of movement and flow to this, to this position. So we're here in squat and then pushing into the ground. We'll come up, toes point forward, squat. Straighten. Last one. Squat. Straighten. And then heel toe your feet back towards center. Take an inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then slowly make your way to the floor. Then we come into reclined hero. So bringing the feet, if you're on a yoga mat, allow the feet to be kind of to the edges of the mat. Um, they're out wide. Let the knees knock in. Hands may rest gently wherever they desire, on the ground or on your hips. Letting the spine find rest on the ground. Take one more full breath. And then we'll move into a figure four reclined shoelace combination. So you can stick with figure four, but I'll also offer a deeper, uh, deeper stretch, which is the reclined shoelace. So to begin, to come into figure four, the right ankle comes on top of the left knee, right above the left knee. Hugging both knees in towards the chest, lift head, neck, and shoulders up. Take the right hand in the gateway of the legs. The left arm comes around, and we either place the hand at the back of the thigh or the front of the shin. And then allowing the head, holding here. You can stay here, or if you would like to join me in reclined place, you'll take the hands out. It's as if you're crossing the right knee over the left. Reach up, grab a hold side edges of your feet. Head, neck, and shoulders back down to the floor, spine stable on the ground, and you're, it's as if you're pulling the shins away from one another. Again, nothing aggressive. Doing what your body needs, and each side will require and request a different intensity. So whether you're in figure four or you're in reclined shoelace, take one more breath. Release the bind. Take both feet down. Unlace. Take a moment with feet flat. And then we move over to the other side. So this time we take the left ankle above the right knee. If we're moving into figure four, the left hand comes through the gateway of the legs, right arm around, either back of the thigh, front of the shin, we stretch. Or if we're going for reclined shoelace, left knee is on top of right, grabbing either the shins or the outside edges of the ankles, stretching, drawing the limbs away from each other while the spine stays settled on the ground. Relaxing facial muscles, eyebrows draw away from each other, cheeks and the jaw relax. Taking one more full breath here. And then releasing the bind, bringing the feet down, unleashing if you're in shoelace. Take a moment, take pause. And our final stretch of today is reclined butterfly. So wiggling the feet in so that the soles of the feet touch 
the legs can be, f the heels can be far away from the groin or close, whatever your hips will allow, and just settle in. Hands may rest on the hips inside of the thighs or the ground. Just breathing here. Honoring yourself. Honoring all of the work that has gone before. Taking these opportunities to reset the body. Take one more full breath. And then draw the knees in together. Pause, breathe. And then whatever way you can come up to a seat, I like to put my knees into the chest, wrap my hands around my knees, fall over to one side, pausing here. And then using the weight of my upper arm, pushing up. Coming to sit, taking a moment, taking a breath. Thank you for joining me on this post-run stretch sequence. I wish you a great day.